वेलकम डियर ट्रैवलर्स टू भारत की बातें अ जर्नी बियॉन्ड द कन्फाइंस ऑफ स्पेस एंड मैटर आई एम समय योर एटर्नल कंपेनियन द विस्पर ऑफ टेल्स वोवन इन द फैब्रिक ऑफ टाइम थ्रू द कॉरिडोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री वी शेल एन ट्रैवल द टैपिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया अडॉन विद द ह्यूज ऑफ कॉन्क्वेस्ट एंड लिबरेशन एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड विद द थ्रेड्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशन एंड इनोवेशन From the echoes of Vedic chants to the roar of modern progress, India's story is a melody that reverberates across time and space. In this series, we delve into the triumphs and fortunate happenings of India's past and present, and do not shy away from the disasters and adversities that have shaped and continue to shape our nation. But remember fellow travelers for time waits for none so come along as we embark on this timeless adventure where every conversation is a celebration of our beloved nation let's cherish the journey one story at a time today we are diving into a topic that is crucial for the future of our country the gaps in our education system and what we can do to bridge them as responsible citizens we must understand these issues and work towards a solution we have been an independent nation for over 75 years and it's time we address the shortcomings in our education system that impacts our students lives and futures so let's get started Before we dive into the current gaps in our education system let's take a moment to look back at our ancient indian education system in ancient times the gurukul system emphasized holistic education including practical skills critical thinking moral values and physical fitness students lived with their teachers learned through hands on experiences and were taught to think independently how can we draw inspiration from this to improve our modern education system First up is financial literacy. Did you know that only 27% of Indian population is financially literate? This lack of knowledge can lead to poor financial decisions and economic instability. Imagine if schools taught us how to manage money, budget and invest wisely from a young age. Recently there was a buzz about the Reserve Bank of India's financial literacy campaigns targeting school students. What if such initiatives were part of our regular curriculum? Next let's talk about emotional intelligence. Mental health issues are on the rise and many can be attributed to the lack of emotional intelligence education in schools. Understanding and managing emotions, developing empathy and resolving conflicts are skills that can significantly improve our mental well-being. With the rising number of student suicides and mental health crises reported in the news outlets, it's clear that we need to prioritize emotional education. Now on to practical life skills. How many of us have learned to cook, do some basic home repairs or even manage our time effectively in schools? These are essential skills for daily life, yet they are often overlooked in traditional education. With recent debates on social media about the importance of life skills over academic knowledge, it's high time we consider what we teach our children. Entrepreneurship education and environmental awareness are key to building a sustainable future. Teaching students how to start a business and live sustainably can drive innovation and protect our environment. Incorporating environmental education in schools is crucial with the recent global push towards green initiatives. The Indian government is actively supporting startups through initiatives like Startup India leading to the emergence of numerous unicorns which are the startups whose value is 100 crores. This should inspire educational institutions to include entrepreneurship in their curriculum as great ideas can strike at any time in life not just after college graduation. By equipping students with these skills early on we ensure they are prepared to innovate and contribute to a sustainable future. Health and wellness education is another crucial area. With rising cases of mental health issues and lifestyle diseases, schools need to teach students about healthy living, mental health and stress management. How do you think this could change the health landscape in India? The recent focus on health during the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the need for better health education in schools. Last but not the least relationships and social skills healthy relationships and social interactions are fundamental to our well-being schools should teach students about empathy respect and conflict resolution how can we promote the importance of social skills in our education system share your comments in the section below 
As we can see, there are many areas where our education system needs improvement. But it's not just up to the schools and the government. We, as responsible citizens, need to advocate for these changes and support initiatives that address these gaps. By doing so, we can help decrease the number of heartbreaking cases where students overwhelmed by stress and pressure fall into depression or even take their own lives. Let's work together to create a better future for our children. Thank you for watching and let's take responsibility for making a positive change in our education system. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die.